Hello and welcome. This is a video tutorial on installing monthly license code updates into the AOSCAN 2.03 and later program. I found that when you want to do this process, you should have a paper and a pen or pencil to make minor notations along the way to ensure the highest accuracy. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we know where on the computer the present program is located. The best way to do that is to use our mouse, take our cursor over and highlight the icon that we are presently using to open the program. In this particular case, it's labeled AOSCAN 2.07. When I highlight it with my cursor and then right click, I open up a menu. I want to go to Open File Location and left click and see where specifically on the system the AOSCAN program is located. You can see in this particular situation that it's on disk C. Depending on the model of system you have, it could be on disk C or disk D. Many of you have had several former versions of AOSCAN on your system and they may still be in different directories and different drives. And so we want to make sure that we're installing the monthly code update into the proper current version so that everything operates perfectly for the next month. The next thing we want to check is what is our license number? In this particular case, this system is license 109. We typically put this license number in the upper right hand corner as shown. Some of you may have rearranged the icons on your desktop. Some of you may have deleted some icons to clean up the desktop. And so you may not have it in this location. If you go back to this directory and go to the top where it says System and double click on that, you can see that I can also verify the license number in the system ID file. So write down the location of the program, which is disk C, and also write down the license number, the unique license number of your system. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to the email that we've received. Most of you will receive these emails on your personal computer and not on the computer that you use to run the program. The easiest way though to load the monthly license code update is by opening your regular email account on the computer that you run the program on. In this particular case, I use Gmail and so I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to open up, I'm going to look at my email account and I can see that I've received a monthly code update in this case for March of 2019. I want to double click on that email and open it up. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the bottom where the attachment is. And I want to compare the license number that I wrote down with the license file that I've received. And you can see that this one is 109 that matches my license number, 109. Now, if you have a big downloads folder, you may, it may take a little bit of time to find this file. So why don't we write down this specific file name? License file underscore, in this case, March underscore 2019 underscore 109 dot dat. That'll help us find it when we go to the downloads folder. License file underscore March 2019. Of course, we also want to verify 
that we've been sent the right monthly code. If it's in February of 2019, then I want the next calendar month so that I can operate for another 30 days. So in this case, it's March 2019. If we were in June of 2021, we would want to make sure that we're, releasing, we're receiving July of 2021 and the right code number. Take our cursor and highlight the arrow that is the downloads arrow. When I click on that one time, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, I've downloaded that file to my downloads folder. Now, where's the downloads folder? Let's close the email and go to either this PC. We can also go to File Explorer. If we go to this PC, we open up this window where we see here's the downloads folder. We have documents and pictures and desktop. Here's the downloads folder. If I double click on that, you can see that that file that I've wrote down the name of license file March 2019 underscore 109 is located here. I'm going to left click once and highlight that file and then I'm going to right click once and I'm going to open up this menu and I'm going to click on copy because I want to copy this file from the downloads folder to a specific location within the program. Now I'm going to go over here, over here on the left and I'm going to find that location for the program. You remember we said that it was on local disk C. On yours it could be local disk D, but it's whatever you wrote it down when you opened the file location for the desktop icon. When I double click that, it's a double left click by the way, I'm going to come up with this list of folders. Our present AOSCAN program consists of two folders, AOSCAN Common and AOSCAN Files. AOSCAN Files is a program file location that we generally don't touch. We, we don't save files into that folder and we don't delete files because then our program may not work correctly. AOSCAN Common is where we want to go. So we're going to double click on AOSCAN Common and you can see that we have comprehensive files inner voice files and vital files. Project Info has many of our settings that allow us to um, edit our client data, our client lists and our uh, administration uh, uh, passwords and uh, email addresses and such. We want to go to license files. This is, this is the file that as our license licenses, you can see right now that we have license file for February 2019 in here now. And that's how we're operating in this current month. If we go back to license files, we highlight it with a left click and then a right click. We can paste that file that we copied from our downloads folder into license files. We double click it again, we can see that we now have February and March. We can have up to 12 license files in this at a time. We can't have two Februaries, two Marches, two Decembers. So as you go through this process on a monthly basis, you can delete expired files. I wouldn't want to delete February while well, I'm still in February, but I would easily delete January or December or November of last year. Okay. Once I have these, then I can exit and I want to go back to my program icon and click on it to make sure that everything still opens up correctly. Now, if you believe that this is too complicated for your computer skills or you're unsure about it, reply to the email that you received with the monthly license code update and, and tell us that you want us to install the update for you. Include your team viewer ID and password as shown on the email and we will install that for you. Do it as soon as possible to make sure that we have time to install that before the month expires. It's been a pleasure being with you. 
Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, respond to the email uh, with the monthly code update. Ask your questions, give us comments, and tell us how we can help you. Thank you very much.